Now, I want to look at some scientific research today from South Africa that's been pretty well ignored by the mainstream media, it seems. What this research is showing is that people that have been infected by Omicron are developing immunity, which gives them a large scale protection or a lot of protection against a Delta variant. Now, what this means is that as we speak now, millions of us, unfortunately, are becoming or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, are being coming infected with Omicron. And that means that as we become infected with Omicron, this is going to give us infection against Delta. And this means that Delta is going to have nowhere to go because everywhere it goes, people will be resistant to Delta. Therefore, Delta should die out. In other words, Omicron should completely, over not too much time, displace Delta. And this Delta variant that's made so many people so sick and has taken so many lives should be history completely replaced by the Omicron variant. That is the content. Africa Health Research Institute School of Laboratory Medical and uh, Medical Sciences and virtually other every, every other reputable sort of sounding <laughs> institution in South Africa has been involved in this. So many institutions. Um, so it's got it's got a great deal of credibility behind it is what I'm saying. Omicron has been shown to be highly transmissible. Yes, fact, that's for sure. Omicron has extensive evasion of neutralizing antibody immunity, say antibody immunity generated by Delta. That is true. Antibody immunity. And of course, it's the antibody immunity. If you've got pure poor antibody immunity, then you can get symptomatic disease. Now, this is not talking about T cell immunity, as we believe that is preserved. This is antibody immunity, which is going to protect against symptomatic disease. So this is what this is talking about. So Omicron has extensive evasion of neutralizing antibody immunity elicited by vaccination and previous SARS coronavirus 2 infection. This is why so many people are currently getting symptomatic Omicron infection because we don't have this cross reactivity of the antibodies from the vaccine and previous exposure to Delta variant as we would have liked. Therefore, we're getting these escape infections. The Omicron infections are surging into areas where there's been a lot of Delta infection just recently. And of course, that brings to mind some pretty important questions, which, of course, the researchers have thought of. Um, do Omicron antibodies neutralize Delta virus variant? Does it work the other way around? You see, we, we know that if you've got Delta antibodies, that's not going to effectively neutralize Omicron. That's why so many, as, uh, so many of us are getting Omicron at the moment, because we are not protected that well by the wild type antibodies or the original virus type antibodies induced by the vaccine or the wide scale immunity generated by the Delta, which is good for Delta, but not good for Omicron. So it doesn't work the other way around. But this is the question. Do Omicron antibodies neutralize Delta virus variant? That is the question. And the answer to this does seem to be yes. Or just to rephrase that question. Does neutralizing immunity elicited by Omicron also enhance neutralizing immunity against the Delta variant? So what they concluded from this was uh, showing a, a developed antibody response to Omicron, which, which you would expect. So people infected with Omicron, yeah. They get, they get immunity against Omicron, as you would expect. But also to two weeks of infection with Omicron, they were 14 times more resistant to Omicron, but four and a half times more resistant to Delta, meaning that people would be unlikely to become infected with Delta after they have been infected with Omicron. And that's got remarkably profound implications because it means the Omicron is protecting against the Delta. Now, the increase in Delta variant neutralization in individuals infected with Omicron may result in a decreased ability of Delta to reinfect. Direct quote from the authors. We are preventing Delta reinfection. So if you've, you've had the Delta, you're not protected against the Omicron. But if you've had the Omicron, then you are protected against subsequent Delta infection. That's the key point. And it's remarkably, this is remarkably good news. Also, emerging data indicates that Omicron is less pathogenic than Delta. So which would you prefer to have? Would I prefer to be infected with Omicron or Delta? Let me think. Of course, the Omicron. I prefer to be infected with the Omicron rather than the Delta. Therefore, cross immunity from Omicron to Delta may have positive implications in terms of decreasing the COVID burden of severe disease. Uh, these results are consistent with the Omicron displacing the Delta variant, which I've suspected for some time, but this is the science that demonstrates that. As cross immunity makes reinfection with Delta less likely. So the, pre the previous Delta exposure will not protect from symptomatic Omicron infection, but 
Delta infection and vaccine exposure does generate a T-cell response, which of course this study is not about, and that is giving cross-protection. In other words, people that have had Delta variant or people that have been vaccinated can well get symptomatic, in symptomatic infection of Omicron because they are not being protected against the symptoms because of the antibodies generated to the Delta don't work well against the Omicron variant. But the T-cell response does. So people that have had the vaccine or people that have had the Delta have generated a T-cell response against that and that should protect us against severe Omicron disease. But people who have the Omicron antibodies should be protected against symptomatic or indeed any type of infection with Delta. Final thing they say, uh, if indeed Omicron is less pathogenic than Delta, the incidence of COVID-19 severe disease will be reduced because we're going to get rid of Delta. So we're going to get less and less people sick. Infection may shift to become less disruptive to individuals and society, is what they say. In other words, this is entirely consistent with what we've been saying for a couple of weeks now, that we are going well into an endemic phase.